Yeah. Hello, how are you? She came in with pretty curls. Now she came Can you please not talk about when I switch up my hair? It's, I think it's beautiful. I, I know, but like as a black person, it's to me, it feels like a microaggression. I deal with it all the time at work. And you can make that face. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, I'm telling you how it makes me feel. Everyone's different. But personally, if you like the hair, oh, pretty hair. You don't have to like clarify that it was different each and every time because it makes me uncomfortable. I just like the way you change I know, this, I. I'm not looking for any excuses. It's just, it makes me uncomfortable. Cool. So apparently complimenting someone on their hair is now a microaggression. Woke liberals just want to be offended by anything and everything. You can't even compliment people now anymore, apparently. You can be racist against certain groups. And yes, you might be a sellout. You might be whatever. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad that I know that if I don't agree with you, I'm a cello and I'm not good enough for my Latinos and I'm not good enough for my father, from my grandfather that escaped Cuba. Thank you. True or false? Only women get pregnant. True. 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 Very true. Absolutely true. True or false? Only women get pregnant. False. False. Uh, false. And what are your pronouns? Uh, they, them. <laughs> that I would just love oversimplification. I don't even need to say much more. As I've said in previous videos, you can always tell the people who believe in this woke nonsense. They always have a certain look and the people watching know the look that these people have. Okay, how many genders are there? Many. It's actually like quantifiable. Well, how about a number? So quantifiable. Good. No, it's so many because... Give me a number. That, any number. Okay, well, the way the data breaks down, this is why you don't understand it. Number. There's so many. The way that the... So many. Not so many. Chromosomes not number. actually break down with intersex genders and the way that it actually happens. That is the starting point that you learn in like fifth grade. But when you actually in real experiments, you learn that the way that data breaks down when it comes to... Can you give me a number genders, or not? She people just keep speaking and saying absolutely two. nothing. That's sixth grade science. When you move on, there are hundreds so, of different so what you, categories. So what you learn in sixth grade becomes less true as you get older? That's like gravity big, becomes that, that less true? Basic building Newton's third law, law becomes less true? In order to understand the concept of gender, when you break it down into actual gender experiments and sex when it comes are directly to chromosomes related. and sex, it breaks down into hundreds of different... I don't know how this woman had the talent to do what she just did. She absolutely spoke a bunch of gibberish for a few seconds, which is very admirable because she was saying absolutely nothing. Newsflash for all of you who think otherwise, there's only two genders and sex and gender are one the same thing. It's really that simple. Categories that actually differentiate between just two genders. What you're saying is there are facts and you don't believe in there being a Yes, I am saying that there are this facts. This is a scientific fact that you, if you talk to any biologist, will learn. So in biology, they teach you, you that there's XX and XY chromosomes. So, so give me a number of how many genders there are. That Hundreds, start. many. It it's unlimited, down. right? It breaks so down I, it's so anything you want categories. to be, anything you feel? No, it's what scientists determine given specific X, categories. X, X, Y. Why do you need a number if you're Bingo. Already Why do you need a number? That's a great question. You literally have no idea how it works. You're because then you could self-identify to be anything you want at any time. Literally, biologists are saying that this oh, is the way so the gender actually so, so, breaks so, down. So you're, you would accept the argument that you can self-identify to be anything at any time? Yes, because literally okay. biologists that, are That's what's that wrong with not having a number. There are hundreds of different numbers. So hundreds why not, of different ways of gender and So sex like I said earlier, I could be a bobcat, I could be a fox, I could be a snake. Literally not even the case. I could be anything. No, you are literally <laughs> saying that so, people who not the actual XX. Mind. Why do they keep saying literally? Literally like you can't do this. Like literally. It's so sad that this is the state of the college campuses all around Western society. It's absolutely sad that these people believe that gender and sex are not the same thing. You can identify as whatever you'd like. I would love to speak to some of these people and ask them, can I identify as a white person or can I change my race now? Because apparently we can just change whenever we we feel like it and do whatever we feel like. X, Y, two genders, two sexes, they're directly you're related. You're just repeating words over and over because again. Because it's true and you're true. not disproving it. I am. How? I have an argument. Just, uh, like, 
Like seriously, he's, there's nothing there. No, I know, but it's more. <laughs> she keeps interrupting. Making it I like it. That she doesn't like my face. So that's and say these things more than I think I'm going to convince him. I hear you. I hear you, idiots. I think it's mainly to just have an air of like, if you're gonna come in here, you're gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna have to put up a good fight, which you're not doing. You're really quoting like super basic shitty science that is just meant to teach. But okay, so but again, you don't have a number. I just want to recap. Hundreds. That. There's hundreds. hundreds of different so where would you put it? Okay, so the data breaks down into very simple predominant categories, X, X, and X, Y. And that's, no. no? No. Oh, so there's not male and female. Before we get back into the video, I now have memberships available to all those who want to support the channel. You'll see the join button down below this video, or if you click on my channel, you'll also see the join button there. Also like the video as much as possible. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you enjoy the videos and let's get back into the video. I mean, to a certain degree, but there are different ways that that breaks down. When you actually get into sex and gender and X and Y chromosomes, it doesn't just break out in the way that there's many different ways. And how would you break? How would you categorize society? Do you, do you think men and women well, are categorically different? I would go by specific different? scientific criteria and then go off of what that study and that information actually says. You see, that information breaks down into much more difficult and complex things than you can just say in five seconds with two different genders. You, I think what happens is you don't understand science and scientific oh, I don't. backing, oh, okay. so, so, and you just want to so, so put I can, forth this so like fascist can, so, simple. Oh, fascist right? simple. Here we go. That's 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 interesting. That, that will keep you. So so what? What is fascist about saying there's two genders? Is you're just being completely not faithful to what actual science is telling you. No, you science is quite simple. That there's an oppressive narrative oh, oppressive. about how you think so It's the same things with woke liberals. They just resort to name calling and using words that they never even know the definition of. That's all they do. You're a bigot, you're a misogynist, you're a racist, you're a fascist, and so on and so on. It's the same thing with these people. They say what they see from social media because they've been propagandized to say the things that they say they don't have a mind of their own that's all it is well, and now i'm oppressive how am i being oppressive this is that it's the truth comes out eventually so how am i being yeah, oppressive? you're being oppressive how am i being oppressive you're being oppressive by denying people the ability to have how am i denied anyone anything okay deny people identity people can identify however they want i'm only going to use two genders that's the way that must eventually you're the problem and you're going to get pushed out of the way does not identify by like a female or male you can identify them as an animal you were saying no, that no, you, I haven't said that. You could identify yourself. I think history a has sort of proven where your type of people are. No, I asked if I could be a bobcat, yeah, and somebody said That's yes earlier, and you said no. Bad. As I've said, it's absolutely sad that these are the things that we're discussing in society. The woke are now saying that there's more than two genders. And when people like Charlie Kirk say that there's only two genders, he's now apparently a fascist and he's oppressing people. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible, comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Yinka That Guy, and I am out.